हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द न्यू टॉपिक ग्राम फ्रॉम लेसन नंबर वन ट्रेडिशनल क्रॉप्स ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द सोयाबीन एंड टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द ग्राम विच वी लोकली कॉल एज हरबरा चना बैंगल ग्राम चिकपी एक्सेट्रा एज वी नो द ग्राम विच इज देर हियर दिस इज द ग्राम विच वी कॉल इज द चिक पी लाइक वाइज वी आर वेरी मच फैमिलियर विद द ब्राउन कलर ग्रीन कलर ग्रैम विच इज इजीली अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट एंड यू आर वेरी वेल नोन बाय दिस चिक पी एंड ग्रैम ऑल्सो नाउ द फैमिली विच इज देर दैट इज लैक्यूमिनोसी एंड द ऑरिजिन विच इज देर from the southwest asia but in our india it is locally grown at the major proportion the uses of gram which is there it is important for growing the rabi pulse crop in our india country the uh, gram which is there it is rich in carbohydrate protein vitamin a and e also it is used for recovering of scurvy disease as we know majorly in our country the roasted gram is been consumed popularly also for preparing the various kinds of bhaji uh, then for preparing the gram flour vada uh, pav uh, etc then bhajis it is been used flour is been used for preparing the fried food stuff also the leaves are which very rich in protein and it is also prepared for preparing bhaji and majorly the husk of gram it is the horse feed crop which is been consumed by the horse then also the gram which is there it is used for preparing the sweet dish like besan laddus mesur pak uh, jalebi etc for that also the gram flour is used now which kind of soil is required coming to the soil the gram is fertility restorative crop and light to heavy black mixed red alluvial soil which is there it is very preferable for growing the gram plant gram plant in the soil the ph of soil must be 6.6 to 7.5 which is very popular and optimum range for growing the healthy gram plant then what is harmful for the growing of gram plant that is water logging saline and alkaline conditions are very much harmful for growing the gram plant so we must be alert by water logging saline and alkaline conditions which causes harm for the gram plant then which kind of climate which is required more majorly it is grown in cool and dry climate the rainfall required is low to moderate rainfall about 400 to 700 mm also the mild cold climate which is there it is very powerful climate for the better growth of the gram plant the average temperature goes below 25 to 30 degrees celsius and it is preferable for growing the gram plant which is the harmful climate that is the cloudy weather and frost conditions are very much harmful because during the flowering uh, reduces flowering and seed setting means the cloudy weather and frost conditions are harmful for the growth of flowering and seed setting 
and though this kind of climate is reduces the growth and cultivation of the gram plant now after the climate let us see the preparatory tillage before growing the seed of the gram the hectare area of farm one deep ploughing is given after the harvest of kharif crop by iron plough because after kharif crop we are sowing the rabi crop and the ground floor is rabi crop one to two harrow wings are given to prepare the seed bed because the clod are uh, required in a medium amount in the hectare or in the land for growing the gram plant as it is gram plant are hard in nature then sowing let us see first sow season and time it is usually grown in rabi season as we saw earlier so 15th october to 15th november is the best month for growing the gram plant then sowing method and spacing gram is sown by various method like drilling dibbling or plow and furrow method but drilling method is majorly cultivated in our local areas and also in our country also it is done by hand by the local farm for their gram cultivation now according to the varieties how much spacing must be done for desi type it is 30 to 10 cm gap must be there between the sowing of two seeds here seed and here seed 10 cm into the uh, 30 into 10 cm means likewise it must be 30 and likewise uh, parallelly it must be 10 and vertically it must be 30 cm and for kabuli type it is 45 into 10 cm because kabuli type which is there these are big in size than the desi type then let us see the seed rate desi varieties which is there it is 65 to 70 kg of seed is required per hectare area while kabuli varieties which are there it is 80 to 90 kg per hectare area it is required then before sowing the seed seed is treated seed is treated with carbendazim or thyrium plus bevestin 2 to 3 g per kg seed for what purpose to control the wilt disease because if we treat the uh, seed with treatment seed treatment then the plant which are grown can control the wilt disease easily also it is treated with rhizobium culture as we know the family is leguminaceae and that is why nitrogen fixation is done in good amount in the soil also then varieties let us see the varieties as we saw that two types of varieties are there one is desi varieties example here is given and 31 and 59 chafa warangal vijay vikas etc and for kabuli types which is there that is virat vihar sada bihar sweta iccv etc these are the varieties of the gram plant above is the desi varieties and below is the kabuli varieties then manures and fertilizer as we know after sowing the variety seed in the uh, farm the manure and fertilizer are needed for the better quality and quantity growth of the plant and so manures for manures 12 to 15 carts loads that is fym called as farm yard manures or composed per hectare mixed in soil 
and if we are adding the fertilizer then for fertilizer the dose of nutrient for rain feed crop is 10 40 is to 20 that is 10 nitrogen then phosphorus 40 kilo and potassium 20 kilo per hectare it is being required if we add the fertilizer for better quality and quantity of the gram plant then after adding the manure and fertilizer let us see the irrigation depending upon the soil type that which kind of soil in which kind of soil we are sowing the uh, gram plant the water requirement is 300 to 400 millimeter of water is required and as it is rubby crop and we supply the water from the well or from the river or from the water bank and from almost irrigation is done amount is 300 to 400 mm irrigation facility is available it is given that which is the best time of irrigation during the sowing time after sowing when small branches is growing at that time irrigation required after the branching flower is is done during that time and pod filling in pod filling means inside the pod the gram seeds which are there at that time also the irrigation means water supply is given for the better growth of the gram plant at the time for light soils then intercultivation after irrigation as we know that first from four to five weeks are critical and very critical from weed control point of view means during the growth of the gram plant weed are also growing along during the first four to five weeks and we know the weeding can be removed also with the knife one hand weeding is there also by the hoeing method after the 15 days of growth even they are small weed are small it is been easily removed from the uh, farm then next one is nipping method it is also called as stopping why it is been nipping method is done for the growth of quantity means large quantity of the gram plant tips are nipped off means the above portion apex of the plant which is there it is been cut off and from the below more branching are grown and quantity of the gram seed we get more and that is why nipping means cutting the above apex here nipped off tips of the young branches are removed is called topping it increases here the number of branches per plant young shoots are used for vegetable purpose and also the above nip means the cut young shoots are used for the vegetable purpose means profitable for both more branches are also grown and the cut of young shoots are also used for the vegetable purpose now let us see the collection of the malic acid as we know in the uses uh, when the plants are 40 to 60 days old the leaves secrete acid called as malic acid and oxalic acid which is also called locally M. now these acids believe to have medicinal value against the intestinal disorder when we take the cotton cloth and during the early morning when we spread that cotton cloth from the young shoots or from the plant of the gram then that cotton clean cl cotton cloth is squeezed in the bucket and that squeezed water or that squeezed liquid secrete the malic acid and oxalic acid now this has been cleared collection of malic acid why it is being done and also it is medicinal purpose for the intestinal disorder 
then crop rotation and intercropping as we know that it is grown as intercrop with wheat rabi jowar safflower lean seed mustard sugarcane etc it is been rotated or also intercrop with the gram plant the plant protection after the growth as we know that pest and disease are the two major uh, uh purpose which stop the quality and quantity of the gram plant for example paste gram pod borer b is cut worm disease like wilt which causes the harmful or reduces the cultivation of the gram plant then control measures as we know from the earlier crop also dusting the crop with malathion 5% or carbaryl 5% or phosphelon 4% at 20 to 25 kg per hectare and pv is also practiced for the uh, from the protection of the wilt disease and by spreading such we can Uh, take the control measure from this gram pod borer and cut worm then harvesting crop matures of the gram in about 3 uh, to 5 to 4 months after sowing after sowing 4 months or 3 to 5 months it is uh, means it gets mature and are allowed to harvest then cutting is done harvesting by harvesting machine after cutting it is kept in the same farm or in the same area and dried for one week under the sun heat then after that threshing done by threshing machine during which the pod are been removed from the gram plant then from the pod the seed is been cleaned uh, with the help of a bullock cart also means uh, by crushing or by walking the bullocks about the pod and it is been cleaned and stored in gunny bags or in the go downs or also in the form of removing the husk from the gram seed now the yield which is there it is rain fed crop if there then 5 to 6 quintal per hectare area we get irrigation crop 10 to 12 quintal per hectare area then the proportion of grain to chaff is 1 is to 1.75 or 1 is to 2 by weight means the quality of yield quantity of yield which is there which is very good per hectare area likewise today we saw about the gram the name harbara chana bengal gram botanical name family origin the uses and you are very well known because it is uh, useful in our daily food stuff also the soil which is uh, required the required climate which kind of climate which is cool and dry climate is very much good for that then preparatory tillage then sowing season and time sowing method how it is and spacing seed treatment varieties manures and fertilizer irrigation how much water is needed 300 to 400 mm then intercultivation to control weed control nipping method then collection of malic acid crop rotation intercropping plant protection which is there control measure for plant protection harvesting and yield of the gram now please uh, in this way we studied about the whole gram topic from the traditional crop likewise we are completing the first chapter and this first chapter is very much important point of view for the board exam also and for your exam also because from this any one topic can is going to come compulsory during your 
exam time also in your board exam time so from rice it is there soya bean gram uh, then uh, peas etc from this any one topic is going to come compulsory for 7 marks or for 5 marks thank you student after this i will take the test